Welcome to another episode of Timmy in Chandelar. And um, I have to be honest, after last week, the jump on the water elemental, man, I mean, that killed my mood. But you know what? I like Chandelar too much to give, uh, to give in, to give up. So let's start the launcher again. We can hear that great music. We go back into Chandelar. And uh, we're going to load our game. We're going to go back to Timmy Goes Green. We're going to jump into it. But before we do, first a message from the sponsor of Season 2, 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, so Timmy goes green. Let's see, where are we at? Let's go to the decks. Okay, so I have my big green creature deck. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep playing this. Why not? Give it a, give it a go. Oh, 59 cards now. I lost a card. Um, what did I lose? I can't remember. Um, what shall I put in? Probably a green card. Let's have a look. Um, what do I have so far? I got the Lunar Elves. Let's see. Mm. Man, this is tough. Maybe a Stream of Life? Because I'm going to go into dungeons, actually. I think Stream of Life is good. Some life gain. Um, let's have a look. Talking about dungeons. The Ruins of Suchan. Ooh, I got to go here. Um, location, east of Shellcliff Forge. Okay, where is Shellcliff Forge? I am here. Here's Shellcliff Tower. Shellcliff Keep, Shellcliff Tavern, Shellcliff Temple. Hmm. Oh, here's Shellcliff Forge. So, you know what? I'm just gonna walk towards Shellcliff Forge. Let me just check. Wait, let me check one last time. East of Shellcliff Forge, okay. Good, so we're just gonna go, let's see, what quest do we have here? We're working with a mana link. Oh, I love mana links. Andor's Hold. Okay, where is Andor's Hold? That's all, I can do that. So I go to Andor's Hold and then I go to Shellcliff Forge. We got a plan, it sounds, sounds good to me. Let's see if we wanna buy anything, nope. Um, okay, let's let's do it. Um, the Winged Stellion. Okay. Ah, uh, Lana Wells. I don't want to lose the Lana Wells. Oh, I don't want to lose a tracker, but okay. We'll do it. I mean, I still want to use the tracker. Okay, I win the toss. Let's do play first. Start the duel. Okay, so I've got Forest, Ice Storm, Giant Grove, Ice Storm, Forest, Ice Storm. Okay, so what I'm missing in this hand is a Lana Wells. That would have been... That would have been top notch, but what we don't have, we don't have. Um, another ice, okay. So at least as soon as they've got my third forest, I can start destroying every single land. I mean, that's a plan, right? Oh, a life tap. Okay, that's uh, a little bit problematic because I only have forests, but. Because now for every forest that I tap, he gains a life, which is not great. Okay, there's a plains. Hmm. At least no more pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna go Ice Storm. Let's destroy planes. And I'm gonna cast my Lunar Elves. There we go. So at least when I um, tap the Lunar Elves for mana, he's not gonna gain a life, so that's something. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna do another Ice Storm. 
and I'm gonna attack with the Lanawer, right? I'm, I'm, I might, I could have tapped it for green as well, you know, that would have made it even also, because then you wouldn't gain a life from the life tap, but it's, it's more fun to attack, right? Ooh, a planes. Um, let's do Ice Storm. And let's attack. Wow, he's on 31. Actually, you know, life tap, when you think about it, it's insane against Mono Green. And Mono Green decks are actually gaining in popularity. Um, I could go Untamed Wilds and then play my Giant Badger. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Ooh, I can do Giant Growth on Giant Badger next turn. That's pretty cool. Okay, so he, I mean, my opponent, the Stellion, is now on 36. So I have to make sure. Did he discard a land? Why would you discard a land? That's so weird. Um, ooh, Desert. I could Desert Twister the Life Tap. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to attack for three. I think I'd rather have my Desert Twister in hand for something like Sirius, and I'm going to try... Oh, wow. Taking a damage. Um, I'm going to go Strip Mine and Strip that Plains. I got such a mean deck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a very mean deck. But it was a weird hand, right? Having three Ice Storms. I think my starting hand at two, and then it drew into number three. Uh, Cockatrice, okay. Uh, let's just attack with one. And then I gotta give him some life. I mean, look at that life tap. He's back to 31. I don't know if this was a good decision, but... Giant Spider. Uh, should I play the Giant Spider or shouldn't I play the Giant Spider? Um... You know what? I'm going to play the Giant Spider. Go back to 30. I don't mind. I'm feeling confident. If he plays the um, that Enchantment Island Sanctuary, I've got my Desert Twister to destroy it. So I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, Force of Nature. Oh, that's so cool. But I got to tap four green, meaning four life. But it's the Force, right? I got to play the Force. Let's first just attack. I mean, I should probably stop playing out cards, but it's just too much fun. I love these green cards. I just want to smash face. You know what? I can also choose not to pay and take eight. I'll take eight. I don't mind. Um, I'm going to attack. So I can deal 10, 14, 20 damage if I want to in one go. That's pretty funny. Boom, I'm gonna play another forest because why not? Um, since I haven't paid, let's see, 10. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play Desert Twister because Desert Twister gives him six lives, brings him up to 20. And I think if he doesn't play anything out, I can kill him next turn with the double giant growth because that's 14, 16, 80, 20. I can actually deal him 21. So hopefully he's not gonna play a blocker or anything. Okay, so we're gonna pay the upkeep cost. Oh, Gaius Leech. Oh, this deck is fun to play. All these cool cards, I love it. Uh, let's attack. Let's do Giant Grove on the Spider. Let's do Giant Grove on, you know, the Giant Badger. Giant Spider and Giant Badger. Hey! Um, you know what? I'll take the Dungeon Clue. Soul Chant Monastery. It's so close to the Black Castle, though. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, collect our reward. Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to save. Wait. So are you wondering why is he saving in between? Because, I mean, the game's been a little bit glitchy lately, so... 
I want to make sure I do the right thing. Ooh, Amulet of Krug. Oh, so funny. Ghost Ship, one of my favorite cards. Uh, here you can see a, a ghost in the sails. Very cool art. But I'm not playing blue in this session, so. Trade blue amulets for blue cards. I don't really need blue cards. Okay, so we want to go to Shale Cliff Forge, right? So, ooh, travel east to Hornwell Mill. Where's Hornwell Mill? Um, no idea where Hornwell Mill is. It's at east, so it's this direction. I just don't want to go too close to the White Castle. So I'm thinking I'm just going to walk a little bit to the coast and then, yeah, go here. Okay, so we're going to go down a little bit. The Warlock. I don't want to lose my force. Change anti-card. Okay. I can lose a factory. Ah, winning the toss again. Okay. Um, let's pass as a turn. I do feel that at a certain point I will have to start entering one of the castles. I'm just not sure where to start or with what kind of deck. Um, let's go forests, Lanwar elves, pass turns. And next turn I can deploy a giant spider Ooh, or a tracker. Okay, you dark ritual into Taunus's wand. That's a first. <laughs> so I guess he's also playing with uh, Merc Dwellers. Pretty cool combo, Merc Dwellers with that. Ooh, I could go Untamed Wilds. That's actually a little bit tempting here, but I think it's better to go, I'm actually gonna go Tracker. I think that's the best thing, because if he plays out a Merc Dwellers, I can go Giant Grove Tracker next turn. I mean, that's what you wanna do in life, right? I actually need to play Aspect of Wolves in this deck. That's a card I need. Aspect of Wolf and Tracker, that's really cool. <laughs> no, don't do it. Uh, and I don't have any green mana for giant growth. Oh, man, I should have kept my Lana were untapped. Oh, man, I'm getting punished here for my bad place. Um, I'm going giant spider. I'm going to attack. In a way, it's funny when you think, when you look at the art and you think of the ability, because of course an elf giving green mana makes sense, but this art looks more like a warrior elf, right? Like you would tap it to, I don't know, deal one damage to a creature maybe, or maybe it has first strike or forest walk or, you know, something, but not necessarily a green mana. You would expect more like a peaceful druid with nature and trees. It's funny, the art. Just realize that, that the art's funny. Um, you know what? I'm going to go Untamed Wilds because I want to go, I want to play that force. Let's go. Boom. Um, and then I've got a mana to animate. Ooh, my opponent has mana issues, by the way. I didn't even notice that. Mana issues, my man. Take him for five. Passes a turn. Okay, let's play Force of Nature. I really enjoy... Is this then the second game where I've got Force on board? That's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> okay, there is a Frozen Shade. Pay the upkeep cost. Done. Um, I think I can kill him. Now I can definitely kill him. Um, let's attack with the spider and the force because I want to keep my giant growth option. Hey, there we go. Um, do I want the cards? Um, you know what? Take the dungeon crew. Mound of the Warrior Kings. Ooh, a Mox Emerald. Have to get the Mox Emerald. A Terror. Okay, that's nice. Trade Black Amulets for any enchantments. 
Uh, Ornithopter, that's a pretty cool card. The Ornithopter. Let's see, where am I at? Wait, 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 what did it say? What did it say? Travel east to, yeah, I know, to Harnwell Mill. I know that. No, no, don't capture me. No, don't do it. I'm too fast for you guys. Ah, ah, I'm too fast. Too fast. Buy cards. COP blue, ornithopter, blah, blah, blah. Begin a quest. A white amulet, west of my right keep of unicorn. I just came from Unicorn Spire. Okay, I'll do it because I want to have white amulets. Accept a quest. Dang it. Buy some food. Let's go to Unicorn Spire. Oh no. Newsflash. Ooh. Oh, I can win the Lord of the Pit? That is so cool. I got to duel you, man. Play first. I'm winning every coin toss. This is great. Um, forest, giant growth, tsunami, factory, tranquility, cockatrice, and a forest. Um, I'm gonna go factory and attack next turn. That's my plan. I know it's a comp. It's a complicated plan. I know. I know. But that's my plan. <laughs> Deal with it. A nice script sprites. Change to assembly worker. Let's attack. Boom! 17, baby. Dropping to 20. A birds of paradise, eh? Oh, nice! This winter blast is super good. Wow, I tap X target creature, Wind Blast deals two damage to each of those creatures with flying. This is value. This is value town. Going to value town. Look at, look at that. Oh, love it. I'm so happy I put Winter Blast in my deck. It's always like, are you going to play Hurricane or Winter Blast? And they, they both have their strengths, you know? Let me know in the comments, Hurricane or Winter Blast, which one is your favorite? There's a Birds of Paradise. Okay. Um, hmm. Why is it Tsunami still in my deck? I should have taken that out. Um, Ice Storm. Should I? Let's do that. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to take out a Swamp. The things with Ice Storm, like the longer you wait, the less good the card gets. Like, I, like land destruction is usually the best at the start of the game, unless, of course, your opponent has a lot of special lands, which is the case in normal old school, you know, but it, here in Chandelar, I kind of feel like it's it's best early. Um, I'm just going to attack here. There's not much else I can do. Pretty bad turn for me. Like, I need a land. If I get a land, I can play Cockatrice, which would be pretty good. Okay, there's an island. Okay, so my Tsunami can have value. There's an island. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is really... Oh, this Tsunami is going to be so much fun. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Um, I'm going to cast Tsunami. Oh, we can use Birds of Paradise, of course. Okay, but I mean, at least it's got to tap the birds. Mm, he can hit me for four. I love Phantasmal Forces, by the way. I love the art. This is also typical for like early magic art that you're a 4 1, but you have three of those warriors. Shouldn't it then be four? I do like the flavor, only having one toughness because they're like phantasms. Um, also, true heroes long dead. Okay, they're from the Dream Realm. So they could, that, that kind of makes sense. Dream Realm, they could be. Blue, but usually long dead and heroes, you would think, or white or black. Oh man, this is tough. If I play my Cockatrice, it means I gotta take another. F Whoa, wait. Mm, no, I gotta tap out to play Cockatrice. Um, 
I could go tracker. No, I'm gonna go cockatrice. Yeah. I'm gonna go cockatrice. I'm gonna take another four if he if he chooses to attack. Because I don't want to trade, and the next turn I can have Giant Grove open. Hey, there's a Jembazar! Look at that, we got a Jembazar! Oh, another Cockatrice, that's not great. Um, I want to go Tracker. Because next turn, I, I'm just going to keep my Cockatrice on blocking duty. If he attacks, I got Giant Grove. Or maybe I should just trade Cockatrice, Cockatrice. I'm gonna kill the birds next turn, so that's gonna kill the Phantasmal Forces. Hopefully. Okay, so we're gonna use the ability. Tap two. I love it. I'm gonna select this creature. We're gonna trade. Hey! Oh wait, I should do the birds. I said I wanted to do the birds, right? This is sometimes how my head works. I say one thing, do something else. Then while I do it, I realize that it's not the right move. Anyway, um, that was stupid. Um, what to do now? I could take out... Should I take out Gem Bazaar with Ice Storm? Why not? I'm going to take out Gem Bazaar. Oh, this was so stupid. I'm going to pass. <sighs> My plan was to take out the birds. Why did I take out the Phantasmal Forces? Because, you know, taking out the birds, he couldn't have paid for the blue. That was the plan. Another Tranquility. Okay, that's great. Two in the deck and two in my hand. That's fantastic. Um, you know what? I'm going to attack. If he blocks with the Cockatrice, which I hope he does, I'm going to play Giant Grove. Hey, he does. That is awesome. Hey, great. Then play Lanawer. I'm also getting closer, by the way, to my Force of Nature, which is good news. Just one more mana, I can play the Force. <coughs> oh, man, I'm still a little bit bummed about that Tracker mistake. Okay, it's not playing anything out. Um, Let's attack. Let's attack. Can play Untamed Wilds, get my next land, and then I can play Force of Nature next turn. I mean, so the the basic idea of the deck, right, is that I ramp up with with Lanowar Elves, Untamed Wilds, and my opponent goes down in lands with Ice Storms. And that's basically the idea. And then I play big fat creatures because it's cool to do. Oh, there's a wall of ice. That is annoying. But Force of Nature is an 8-8. Eight, eight. So cool. The Force is going to trample over that Wall of Ice. It's so funny. Like, Wall of Ice is like, it should have been blue, right? So you had Glacial Wall and Ice Age, and that is blue, which is basically a Wall of Ice, but then blue. I love that about old school, that some things just don't really make that much sense, which is, which is a good thing. Because it makes it more mysterious, you know what I mean? You're wondering, why is Wall of Ice a green card, not a blue card? D the same is with the Phantasmal Forces. Why is this blue? And of course, later, uh, uh, Phantasm and Illusion really became part of blue. But that wasn't the case in Alpha. Anyway, let's pay the upkeep cost. There's another factory. Uh, we're going to attack for 10. You will have to block. Go deal with it. Of course, your wall of ice. I get it. But now you're on seven. You lost your wall. He needs his own force of nature, actually. That's what he needs. Or a desert twister. But not a Juno and Freak. I don't think Juno and Freak will, will help him. Uh, let's pay the upkeep costs. Another card. Okay, we're going to attack. Ooh, and I've got the Giant Grove. Should, should Probably should have animated the factory, but I don't think we'll need it. Um, there we go. Hey, we won. You know what? I'm going to take the cards because I want that Lord of the Pit. 
Hey, we got a ten amulet, white amulet. Uh, oh, the hold's under attack. I'm pretty close. You know what? I'm gonna go to the hold, and I'm gonna like turbo walk. No, no, no. What did I do? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to tur. Is this? Is this? Is oh, this is the speed walking. Yeah, this is the speed walking. Oh, look at me go! Look at me go! Oh, I'm going so fast! Oh, I'm going so fast! Uh, speed walking. Oh, I'm going so fast. Gonna pay 60 gold. Oh, I'm going so fast. Oh, look at me go. Look at me go. Look at me go. I never realized this green is actually kind of handy. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's have a look. Um, well, I'm still that far away. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to transport there. Whatever. Good, duel the shapeshifter. <laughs> I wonder what, what what does that blue amulet do? So it, it it transports you somewhere else on the map. Is there a logic behind the transport? Am I going close to a dungeon, for example? Uh, anyway, let's look at my hand. Strip mine, force, Lanor Elves, Gaius Leech, Force of Nature, Lanor Elves, Force, another Lanor Elves. This is pretty good. The question is, shall I go strip mine, strip the island? Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go Lanor Elves next turn. I've got three Lanor Elves, actually. Wow, that's really good. I'm going to go next turn, strip mine, strip the island, uh, and then play double Lanor Elves. That's the plan. Okay, this is kind of scary, this mana vault. It's also scary that it's, yeah, that it's so slow at the moment. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go strip mine. I'm gonna sack this one. I'm gonna play Lana Wells number one. And I'm gonna play Lana Wells number two. And I'm gonna pass the turn. So next turn, I've got, after force five mana, I can play Cockatrice. What's Gaius Leech casting cost? Six. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Hmm. And I believe that this one has counter magic as well. You know what? I'm going to go Untamed Wilds. Because that means that next turn I can play Gaius Leech. Because I'm going to play... I know that maybe Force of Nature is the better play because it, it hits for 8, it's got Trample, but Gaius Leech is such a cool card. And I want to turn those islands into forests. You know, that makes me happy. I'm wearing green today, by the way, so I'm finally on theme. Ta -da 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 -da. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is, he can kill all my Alana Wars. This is, Trike is so good. Don't, don't do it. Don't, good stuff. So, don't do it. You're not going to do it? Okay, you're my friend. He's not going to do it. Let's play Gaius Leech. He's not going to do it. Okay, Gaius Leech is a 4-4. Four, four, and Gaius Leech is super cool. When it attacks, it gets the power and toughness of the amount of force my opponent has, which is zero. So it kills itself. However, I can use his ability to turn target land into a forest. Oh, I wish he didn't have that last clause of target land as a forest as long as Gaius Leech is in play. I wish it would just say permanently changes a land into a forest. Oh, this is bad. What? What? Um, should I jump? I think I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. Because it's seven and it's I've got enough mana. Okay, let's go forest. Um, should I go cockatrice? I gotta go cockatrice. I gotta stop this maniac. Gonna attack with these two. I'm so I'm so lucky that the computer isn't smarter than it is. You know, you would think on the highest level it would see that it could just kill three of those lawnmowers. I love the fact here, by the way, that we see the different uh, uh, counters. So this one is the unstable the, with the blue glow. That is really cool. Ooh, Apprentice Wizard. That's such a cool card. 
that is such a good again force of nature is probably the better play right but we're not we're not gonna do that we're gonna do the fun play uh i'm gonna attack with the cockatrice because next turn that one will that trike will be a five five and i can block it on the gas leech hmm Man, the computer needs needs a long time. That's kind of concerning. Okay, there's a tower. Uh, okay, let's go factory. Let's attack with the cockatrice. Let's play Force of Nature, because why not? Let's turn one of his lands into a forest. Hey, that is cool. Passes a 10. Oh man, that mana vault's gonna wreck him. Oh, now he's gonna use it. Um, Do I, can? shall I use that mana for, no, whatever. Whatever, man, you go for it. It's a little bit late, like you came very late to the party, but at least you see the potential of Trike. I mean, Triskelion is such a dominant creature in um, in old school. Oh, I should have double tapped. Oh my god. Okay, boom. Another forest. Let's play it out. Why not? Um. Oh, I should have should have used Gas Leech on that step. Um. Let's go. Okay, so that's dead. Um, let's use Gas Leech. Let's make another force. I would have loved to see kind of like a, a Gas Leech counter on the forest or something. That would be quite nice, but it's not meant to be. Oh, he's on one, so I probably could have won the game already. Oh, there's a big shapeshifter dude. I love that card. It's very cool. Double click. Pay the upkeep cost, please. I'm just gonna attack with the force, that's enough. He is not even blocking, he's not even blocking. Okay, take the dungeon clue. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I basically wasted three or four amulets on nothing. Um. Let's leave the village. Um, I'm gonna do this. Let's see where I end up. Where am I? Oh, I'm here, that's not too bad. I want to go to Shilcliffe Forge. I think I think here is that. Um, I think I think here is that um, that dungeon that we were looking for. The ruins of Suchan. The ruins of Suchan. Let me first save, just to be on the safe side. Safe to be on the safe side. Okay, um, let's enter this. Trade black amulets for any creature. That is, am I looking for specific creatures? Crawl worms, maybe. But I can, I can buy crawl worms. I have to, I have to, just have to find them. Um, buy some food. Stop following me. Let's go in here. Colossus, how many, col I think I have enough Colossuses, right? Let's check it out. How many Colossuses do I have? Yeah, four already, wow. Defeat the Warlock, okay, you know what? I'll accept it, because I, I think I saw that Warlock. No, I'm gonna pay the gold, because I wanna fight the Warlock. That's the Warlock, right? Yeah, exactly. Change the anti-card, don't wanna lose my trike. Let's duel. Let's duel, Warlock. Play first. Mm, let's go forest. I've got ice storm, force of nature, and two giant groves. Okay. Hmm. I feel like the, my giant groves usually come in pairs, right? Like, if, I, I feel like I had them a lot in my opening hands, like as a double. 
Okay, we want to go for factory. Yeah, what we're really missing here is like a Lana or Elves. Lana or Elves is, is actually really important for this deck. Oh, Death Grip! Oh, that's bad! That is bad. Okay, let's go Ice Storm. Let's try to slow him down. Death Grip counters everything I do, basically. That is really bad. Of course, Second Swamp. Mm, you know what? I'm just going to attack with it. There's nothing else I can do anyway. I'm going to attack with the factory. Done. Attack. Twelve. Pass the turn. Oh, I still need to take out the tsunami, by the way. Hmm. Take out the tsunami. There's the pit scorpion. Mm, oh man. Oh, I can play out cards now. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go Lana Rose. And I'm gonna animate. Go into combat. Um, I'm gonna do giant growth. Like, I mean, he was tapped out, so I had the option, right? So, I mean, he's on seven now, which is good. I think after this, I'm going to swap decks, by the way. I think I'm going to go the red-green to kind of diversify. Oh, there's a drain life. That is not cool. Um, Wait, I can win, actually. If he doesn't block, I can win. Uh, I think, right? Because I got two. Yeah, I can win. He's on eight. There we go. Hey, boom, that worked. I can get the death grip. Now I'm gonna take the dungeon clues. Take the clues. Done, okay, let's go back. Let's claim our reward. Yay, I got more black amulets. I'm gonna save again. I'm being very cautious, very cautious. I think I'm gonna go over here to free the village and check out if the dungeon is there. Trade black amulets for colorless cards. Ooh, ooh, that could be good. I want to have a trike, actually, Triskelion. I want to have one more. Yes, I'll trade. Um, Nevenerals Disc, that's a cool card. Yes, I'll trade. Lands, are there lands? Oh, there are lands too. I didn't realize I could go for the lands too. I only got one. You know what, I'm just gonna keep one. Buy cards, nothing really important. Um, I think I gotta put the trike in my deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go to Skellion. There we go. I think I take out Yoshin Soldier, yeah. Oh, I gotta take a Tsunami. That's it. Um, I could put the disc in. Maybe Wooden Sphere? Wooden Sphere, of course. I want to, I'm gonna add some life game. Why not? I know Wooden Sphere is bad, but I mean, this is this is the format where you play Wooden Sphere. Here in Chandler, or when you play Alpha only, because you can uh, use it as often as you want. Check the check the Alpha rules, it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna play this, this card here. Let's go, let's take out the ocean though, and I'm just gonna put the trike in here as well. <laughs> People are gonna say, why are you not playing the Mox Jet? Because I cannot play off-color Moxen. Maybe if I have all five Moxen, I can put them in the deck. You know, when I play Colossus Sardi and stuff, but for now, I cannot play off-color Moxen. It feels wrong if you say, I'm, I'm a green and red wizard, but I have this Mox that makes black mana. It doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. Magic is also a game about flavor, you know? That's, that's also the, pro well, problem is a big word, but the thing with the five color good stuff decks, I kind of feel, what kind of wizard are you? You know, you have no commitment. Yeah, you have no commitment, sir. Or milady. 
What was the quest? I will reward you with colorless cards. Defeat the warlock. Ah. Uh, you know what? I first want to see if I can free Andor's hole. Andor's hole. What are you heading out, sir? I'm heading to Andor's hall. Mm, here's the black castle. There's Andor's hole. Buy cards. Abom that artwork. Abomination. Love that artwork. Uh, begin a quest. Return the Tusk Guardian. Two white amulets. Of course. Of course I want to duel. Let's change ante. I don't want to lose Lanover. Taiga! I don't want to lose Taiga, but we're going to do it. Uh, mountain, Giant Grove, Forest, Gem Bazaar. I love it. Untamed Wilds, Gem Day Tome, and Trike. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Gem Bazaar just because of the sound. You got to love it. You got to love Gem Bazaar. Oh, I still have to make a deck with my sh Chandler cards. Like um, a buddy of mine sent, printed out the Chandler cards and sent them to me. So I really want to play with them. Um, forest. Oh, I'm just going to take the pain from the lions. Savannah lions. The best vanilla creature in the game, I think. Talking old school, of course. Hey, Birds of Paradise, the pressure continues. Um, let's go Untamed Wilds into Forest, right? That's what I need, because I got Mountain. So next turn, I've got five. Oh, look, look at him go, attack with Birds of Paradise. Is he gonna play Giant Grove? Oh, of course, on the Lion, makes sense. Oh, look at this, oh, ho, ho. oh this is bad. Um, I mean, next turn, I'm going to be in a really good position. But that's going to be next turn, because then I can play Trike and Sheevan. So I want to go Trike, kill both of these creatures. But for now, I just got to pass, I guess. I can block with Factory, put Giant Growth on Factory, kill the line. If he, yeah, exactly. So I can go change to Assembly Worker. Done. Choose Blockers. Okay, here we go. The sign, fast effects. Let's put the growth. Hey! And I know I could have taken two and waited a turn, go to nine, you know, to get full value out of the trike, but look at this! I can just kill the two birds. Kill two birds with actually not one stone, but three stones. Let's go, trike! Okay, there we go, pass the turn. Why couldn't I play out the Sheevan? Don't I have, it's just, it's just bizarre changing every time. Add to your mana pool one mana of the color last chosen, then choose a random color, okay. Oh, so now it's white, okay, that's unfortunate. Hey, there's a mountain. That is a mountain, let's go Sheevan Dragon. Let's attack with my tutu. The, the gem bazaar is it's a really cool design actually this would be nice just to throw like a yeah you would need a d5 because there are five colors right but it, that would be kind of cool or d10 or something i mean gem bazaar could be an actual card i can see i can see that um i guess i gotta do a trike or i could he's on 14 let's see i can make it 8, 10, 12. Yes, that's not enough. Okay. So let's see. 1, 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I love that sound effect every time you use that gem bazaar. It's like something really special is happening. That is really funny. Uh, okay, let's attack. We're going to pump it up. So we're gonna deal nine. Oh, I can put him on one with the tri counters, but it's not enough to kill him. Okay, let's go. 
let's kill him with the Sheevan. I haven't lost a single single match today. That's pretty crazy. Um, hmm, Power Search is kind of cool. I'm going to take the cards because I want the Power Search. Hey, I'm rewarded with gems. That is awesome. I'm going to save. Yay. Okay, now I'm going to free that those dudes at the hole. Oh, man. Archangel. Um, I didn't even know Living Wool was in my deck. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll duel you, Archangel. I'll do it! For the people of Chandelar. What do I... Ooh, I got Crawl Worm! I mean, it's a pretty bad hand, actually. I've got Cockatrice, City of Brass, Factory, Forest, Taiga, Forest, and Crawl Worm. I'm going to go with Factory, because then next turn I can play land to tech for two, hopefully. Soul Net. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You're a pro, I can see that. Let's go change the assembly worker. Let's put you over here, because you're basically a creature. And I've got my crumble, so if he animates the factory, I can crumble. And crumbling a factory is one of my favorite things to do in life. It makes me so zen. One green mana, instant speed, he's gaining no life. I don't have green open at the moment, so I'm just gonna have to take the two here, but next turn. I will get you next turn. Okay, so let's go factory. Because I'm going to keep attacking because then he thinks the coast is clear. I should say she thinks the coast is clear. So that you think the coast is clear. But actually it's not. I'm going to crumble. Anyway, 18. Mana Vault hitting the board. Oh man, he's not attacking. That is a bit of a letdown. I want to play that crumble so bad, but okay. Um, I guess I could play a crumble on a mana vault. I should probably do that, right? Because he can go mana vault into Sarah Angel. We don't want that. I was so looking forward to have my moment of zen, you know, to play it on the factory. Oh, and now we, now you animate the factory. Of course. Bring it on. Put me on 16. I'm going to go Cockatrice next turn. Turn after play Crawl Worm. Oh, Kelvin Warlord. Oh, man. I'm really enjoying playing this deck. This deck is full of boss cards. I love casting boss cards. Swords. Uh, boring. I play thought the places. <laughs> Seriously, is that the best that you got? Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. I want 15 people. This is not good. Um, uh, let's go city. I'm gonna go crawl worm. I don't care. Crawl worm. Oh wow. Another sorts. I do love this art from Ice Age, by the way, by uh, Kaya Foglio. Hey, Jim Bazaar. Don't auto tap my city, please. Let's go. Mm, should I kill the vultures or shouldn't I kill the vultures? I'm gonna kill the vultures. I know you're gonna gain a life. Woohoo! Congratulations. Oh man, my warlord is very small now. All my creatures are dead. It's just a two-two. Wrath of God. Dude, can we can we stop killing? Yeah, I can still respond, right? Wrath of God factory, very old school combination, by the way. I also love Wrath of God Soul Net. Like th th those are the, the 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 really cool early like combos. I love that. Um, let's go factory. Let's go warlord. A one one a one one warlord. 
Let's go change assembly worker. No, I want to tap the Taiga for that. Not the, uh, why did I double click? Why did I double? That's mean I could have done an extra point of damage. That is disappointing. The hive. Okay, that, that, that could be annoying later in the game. Not now, but later for sure. Um, okay, let's let's do the let's do the sensible thing. Let's tap Jambazar. Okay. Okay, so we've got some creatures. Let's put them here. Okay. Done. We're gonna attack. Now my Keldon is a three three, which is kind of nice. I also love, by the way, Keldon Warlord Living Plane. That's a really sweet combination. It would have been so nice if Keldon Warlord had Trample or something, or you know, at least something more than just what it what it has. Uh, Tetravis, that is a problem. That is a problem. Um, let's go, James Tone. And I'm gonna pass a turn and hopefully remember to use the Tome on end step. I know it's a big ask because I forget everything, but hopefully I can remember to use the tome. Use the tome on end step. Use the tome on end step. I hope. Okay, there's the attack. Four through the air, I'm on 13. I was probably gonna make a hive token or something. Oh, so another one? No! Damage prevention? No, I don't have any damage prevention. Forest, oh man, oh man, oh man. I need like a fireball or something. Okay, I'm gonna, let's tap some stuff. Okay, this is this is something, at least I can shoot one out. Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because what I could do, if next turn he attacks with, let's say, like everything, right? Um, then I take eight, go to four. I block the factories somehow. And then maybe on the crackback, I can win it. You know what I mean? Because if I use my pyrotechnics now, I can only kill one of his flyers, which is not really going to help me that much. But I mean, four damage is going to cut his life into half. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pass a turn. I'm going to be a risk taker. That's what I'm going to do. Good for me. Good for me. Good for me. Be the best version of yourself. Absolutely. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to animate. Change to assembly worker. Go Jambazar. Love the sound effect. I'm going to block. Ooh, he can pump with that too. You know what? I'm going to double block. Should I do that? Probably not. Oh, man, let me think. I can also just take the damage. Because, I mean, maybe I should just... I'm going to take the damage. I take the damage. I'm not even going to block. I don't want to lose the factory because he still has a factory. So... I just want to attack with everything. I'm just going to go all in next turn. Oh, no, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, my strategy has failed. Um, Man, this is bad. I really wanted to... I mean, I can, I can hope that he's not going to block. What I could do... Let's see. I can deal two damage here, deal two damage, then I'm going to put... Who am I fighting? I'm going to put the Archangel on six. Then I can swing in for seven. Okay, this should work actually. This should work. Okay, let's be very careful. Three, four. One last one. One, two, three, four. I can count. Okay, on six. Let's take it very easy. We don't want to make any mistakes. Animate. 
because then the Keldon Warlord, of course, grows. That's, that is, ladies and gentlemen, a secret weapon. We're going to attack. We're going to hit him for seven. Hit her for seven. I apologize, Archangel. We're going to kill you. But maybe you're a man in a dress, also possible. This is 2024. Hey, we're winning it. Yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, take the dungeon clue. Um, this is great. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save, and I'm going to say farewell for now. Um, but please join me again next week, because next week I am going to go into that dungeon to find that berserk, finally. And I'm going to go into here, into Andor's Hole, to free Andor's Hole, and of course, to go into, into that dungeon, because we need to go into the ruins of Suchan, right? which is very close to this. I think that that's the village that I'm gonna free and then go into that at the ruins of Suchan. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. Please join me again next week for more adventures of Timmy and Shandalar. Oh yeah, and before you go, don't forget to share, like, comment, all that stuff. It really helps the channel move forward. And if you don't know, I also have my own Patreon page. Check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks to find out how you can support the channel. Please do, and uh, if you become a supporter of the show, your name will probably be mentioned in the end scroll. Talking about that, let's go to that end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Somebody can see.